I am home for the holidays in Malibu, and I'm so glad you came over. This is obviously my kitchen, but this is where I spend most of my time. And if you're like me, you're probably knocking out a whole lot of things in this room. I feel like my kitchen literally is my conference room. It's the heart of my home. It's where I connect with my family. It's where we chat, we cook. All kinds of things go down in here. So I'm really happy that you came over. And every Thursday, we're going to be doing this. I'm going to share recipes with you. I'm going to show you how to utilize what's in your kitchen to tone and tighten. We're going to sweat. We're going to carve. We're going to cut our body. Not literally. We're going to cut our bodies up. But we're going to get all kinds of things done here. We're going to use the kitchen countertop as sort of a bar class. So think about using this for stability. We're gonna develop core strength. We're gonna change our body. We're gonna have some fun doing it. And then stick around when we're done because I'm gonna show you some new recipes. We've been really shaking up the wellness scene with longevity. So I make a smoothie every day. I make it for my kids, but I'm also cooking and baking with all of the superfood blends. So that's really gonna be fun. Um, we'll post the recipes, I'll show you how to do it here, and I'm most excited about our Q&A. So we're gonna have a chance to connect and chat, and I wanna hear from you. So first things first, let's get our sweat on, let's change our body, and let's work out. So today I've choreographed a total body sculpt, and we're gonna use the bar, and I'm gonna take my slippers off because I'm always barefoot at home. It's a little bit more challenging to work out barefoot because it requires stability. I want you to really tap into your core. Everything we do really begins right here. We're gonna focus today on legs and booty. We're gonna lift and tighten everything. We're also gonna get a little bit of ab work, just bonus work. If you don't have a bar stool, I'm gonna use this bar stool to stretch and to get a little bit deeper in the glutes. If you don't have a bar stool, use a chair. So we're gonna improvise. If you don't have weights, you can use cans, water bottles, wine bottles, whatever you want. We're even gonna do a kitchen towel burn, literally utilizing a towel to stretch and tone and tighten our whole body, okay? So we're gonna get really creative and we're gonna use all the things that are available to us. This is your home gym, your digital gym, okay? So let's start. We're just gonna warm up our body. So what I want you to do first, just take a moment. This is how I like to begin all my classes. Take a moment just to tap into your center. Tap inside, quiet down the noise. This is a live series, so there might be a couple kids running around, door slamming, just let it all happen. You don't always get to be alone at home, but we're gonna get our me time in right here. So just open up your obliques, open up your shoulders, and I want you to start to get some blood flow in the legs. So you're just gonna lean over. It's a nice little dip. Support yourself on your counter all the way over one more time. Then we're gonna go right over to the other side. So the dip and then you stretch. Dip it down and stretch. Dip it down. See if you can go all the way over. Dip it down and stretch. Now, version of a downward dog, but we're using the counter. So if you're not super flexible, you're gonna like this modified version of downward dog. Drop your heels, drop your chest, Relax your face. See if you can press your palms down on the countertop so that you begin to open up the biceps, the back, and the shoulders. If you're not feeling flexible, here's your option. Drop your heels. So it doesn't always have to be high impact, right? We don't have to put too much pressure on the knees. We don't have to jack up our back. We're just moving really slow. This is your stretch opportunity. Hamstrings open up. Utilize the counter. Push it away from you. Tap into the hamstrings, lower back. Maybe come onto your tippy toes and drop your heels. Come onto the top of your feet a little bit. And that should feel really good. We forget about our feet so often. It's nice to be barefoot. Sometimes we need a little bit of foot support in the kitchen, but right now we're just opening everything up, okay? So if you don't have a bar stool, grab a chair. We're gonna start right here and we're just gonna open up the inner thighs. So, core strength gives us balance, okay? All I want you to do is straighten your leg, support yourself, you can put one hand on your shin, and again, we're coming up and over. So we're just stretching. Really important to loosen up the back. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, all the way up and over. Opening up the hamstring, the inner thigh. You can turn it around if you're feeling flexible. Get a little bit deeper. Think about your back opening up. Flex and point your foot. Lots of options right here. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So point and flex. 
point and flex. Drop your chest. Now we're gonna open up the quads. So just grab the top of your foot. Nice little stretch. Feels really good to open up the hip flexor. Shoulders are back, abs are engaged. Other side, same thing. See if you can press that knee back. Press your foot into your hand. Lots of options. I'm gonna give you so many choices, so many possibilities, and then you get to decide. So just shake out your legs. Shake out your hands. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of tapping right here. Shake everything out. Before we begin, we're just gonna breathe. Grab some fresh air. Open up the windows, open up the doors. If you're stuck inside, don't forget to get out and take a little walk. But right now, we're just gonna touch our ceiling all the way up, all the way back. One more time, huge breath in. Ah, all the way up, all the way back. All right, let's begin, everyone. We're gonna use the countertop to do some tricep dips. So walk your feet out a little bit. You can sit down, right, like you're sitting in a chair. Here we go, let's go for 10. Ah, breathe, nine, breathe, eight. Really pressing. Seven, if you want a more of a challenge, you come onto your tippy toes. Six, abs come in. Five, get a little bit lower. You decide how far you go. Last three, two, good. And one, take a little break, turn it around. We stretch again. This is how we get through it, we recover. Push the countertop away from you. We're gonna go right into shoulders and triceps. It's a counter push-up, but I want you to push off. Catch your body. Trust your body, it all happens here. Let's go for 10. <sighs> nice and slow. Nine, rocking on the feet. Beautiful back and shoulders and upper body. Eight. <sighs> the more you push off, the more dynamic you make these moves. Six, abs, breathing, five, four, keep going, three, two, getting stronger in the upper body, and one, beautiful work, shake it out. Now, we're gonna go right into what we call a twisty kickback. I like the idea of using the bar because you can support yourself. So. Right leg comes behind you, okay? You're gonna twist and lift the glutes. So you're twisting and lifting, and we're going for 10. Core, nine, abs. Now you're lifting right here. Feel it in the glutes. Here we go. Abs are strong. Seven, lifting, breathing. Six, breathing. Five, four, Soften your arms, three, abs are engaged, two, beautiful work, and one. Now come down to the countertop. Notice the position of my foot. I'm turning my foot out, pinky to the ceiling, big toe to the ground. I don't mean to put my back to you, but I want you to see the form. Lift it up and lower. We go for 10, abs are strong. Nine, eight, support yourself on the counter. Seven, ha. Six, breathing, five, shh, four, squeezing the glutes, three, abs come in, two, and one. Beautiful work. Shake it out, let's do the other side right away. Twisty kickbacks, we go for 10. Twisting and lifting, twisting and lifting. So abs are engaged, everyone. Really, you could use one hand. Here's eight. You're squeezing, feel the work right here in the glutes. There's so many things that we can do in the kitchen. You could knock this out while you're making dinner. Put your dinner in the oven, grab your kids, have some fun, let's go for five. Breathing, four. Squeezing, don't worry about the weather, don't worry about being stuck at home. We find ways to reset, to relieve stress. We have two more and one more. Now, just reset. Straighten this leg. I'm gonna keep reminding you to use your core. That's how we get our ab work in, okay? It's a little bonus. So get a little closer to the counter. Support your body and lift. 
and we're challenging ourselves. Maybe you get through half of this, then you take a break, then you come right back to it. Maybe you're not doing 10 reps, maybe you're doing five. Maybe you're a baller and you're gonna do 15. You do what feels right, okay, you decide. Support yourself right here, just chill out for a second. Take it out of your neck, take it out of your shoulders. We're just working the glutes. Let's do four, ha, three, keep going, two, keep going and one, beautiful. So I love walking lunges, I love total body movement, I love mindful movement. So we're gonna utilize whatever space you have in your kitchen. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some walking lunges. I want you to put it in your core for balance. We're getting really lazy as a society right now. This is an opportunity to put your mind in it, right? Mindful fitness, use your brain, okay? We're gonna work on balance, core strength. Relax your shoulders, take a deep breath. It's gonna look like this. Doesn't matter what size your kitchen is. Here comes Billy. Hi, baby. <laughs> take a breath. Excuse me. So it looks like this. You're gonna lunge and you're gonna lunge. These are walking lunges. Maybe you only get to three. It doesn't really matter. Turn your body around, take it back. You can use the counter for support. Reshaping the glutes, okay? Lifting the booty. Turn it around, we're reshaping the thighs. Keep going, the counter is there for you. That's why I love bar class. We're able to go a little deeper. We're able to go a little bit further because we have the support of the kitchen. So by now your heart rate should be up. You should start to break a sweat. The booty should be on fire. Really listening to the body, one more set. So take it slow. Now pay attention to this. Look how slow we're going. Way harder when we go slower. Right here, beautiful work right here. Yes, awesome job, shake it out. So now I'm gonna show you what an inchworm looks like. And the first thing I want you to do, especially if you've been on your feet all day, maybe you're working, then maybe you come home and knock out dinner, maybe you're preparing food for the family. It's all living in our back and in our hips. So I want you to take a moment just to loosen everything up. Take a huge breath in and just drop it down low. In your forward fold, everyone, this is a surrender, a total surrender. Tuck your chin, drop your shoulders, interlace your hands behind you. And now what we're gonna do is walk it out right here. Meet me in plank, squeeze, walk it back. Four movements, touch the ceiling, bring it down, breathe. Walk it out, two, three, four. Squeeze your plank. One, two, three, four. Touch the ceiling. Here's your opportunity to stretch and breathe. Bring it down. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your plank. Take it back. One, two, three, four. Listening to your body, opening up the hamstrings, stretching. Releasing the tightness in the lower back. Having some fun while we're doing this, getting creative. A couple years ago, we didn't think we'd be in the kitchen working out, designing our own digital gym. Here we go, two, three, four, squeeze. Two, three, four, touch the ceiling. We're gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna turn to the side just a bit because I want you to see what a proper plank looks like. So we protect our back, drop it down. Walk it out, two, three, four, squeeze. So look at my shoulders, round your shoulders, scoop out your belly. My feet are wide. This is a wide plank, really challenging. We've been doing thanks and planks all month long, tapping into gratitude. We did a plank challenge, we all got stronger. We started with 30 seconds, now we're doing two minute plank holds, amazing. Squeeze, last one. Touch the sky, touch the ceiling, touch your rooftop. Here we go, shake it out. Beautiful work, everybody. So, shake it out. Now I just want you to go like this, just to loosen up the hips, loosening everything up. So now, we're gonna go into a version of some ballet dips, okay? So, tippy toes. Come all the way down in a really wide, wide, wide ballet dip, okay? Counter is there for you. Just tap into your hips. Look how slow we're gonna go. We're just gonna do 10. Opening up the inner thighs, pressing the knees back. Breathing nine, breathing eight. Don't take it too serious. 
Seven, let the inner thighs burn. I'm pushing my knees out, okay? Pushing these knees out, tapping into the core. We have five more, holy moly, five, four. Imagine there's one long line, one string that comes all the way up. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Now what we're gonna do, come onto your left tippy toe, okay? Left tippy toe. You're gonna bring your right foot up. You're gonna slightly tilt your pelvis, and you're gonna slightly rock it back. Tippy toes, up makes it harder. That's too much for you, land on your flat foot. We're going for 10. Ha, nine, use the bar for balance. Eight, opening up the feet. Seven, breathing. Six, let the feet start to wake up. Five, flat foot or tippy toe, it's just a challenge. Four, three, find your balance. Two, beautiful, and one. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So remember, tippy toes, it makes it way harder, okay? So right foot, find your balance. Most important thing right here, everyone, is to tilt your pelvis forward. Pull in your core, so take it back, squeeze and back, tippy toe, just try it. Open up your feet, way harder. Shh, we don't have to be here for a long time. Lift it up or drop it low. Here's seven, ha, six, squeezing the core. Five, ha, four, booty on fire. Three, two, shh, and one. Beautiful work, okay? Here we go. Now we're gonna work our calves. So options are gonna be here, calves, or here. You decide, okay? I like to be here, and I'm gonna change the position of my feet a little bit. So heels together, toes apart. And we're just working our calves, okay? We forget about our calves. So all the way. Or stand up, calf raises, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, yowza four, let it burn three, two, and one. Beautiful, shake it out. So let's go back to the bar stool or your chair. We're gonna get really deep underneath the booty, okay? So I want you to think about we're working all chambers of the glutes, okay? We're lifting, we're rounding, we're sculpting, working the medius, getting underneath, building curves, okay? Building booty. We're not using language like numbers or scales or anything like that anymore, especially during the holidays. We are building curves, okay, and it's amazing. So, friendly reminder, core, light this up. Get really comfortable, so you're either using your countertop, if you're super flexible, awesome, or your bar stool, or a chair, you decide. So I want you to dig your left heel into the ground. Right leg stays straight, and it stays still. 10, open up your chest and triceps. Nine, eight, open up your chest. Breathing, <sighs> breathing, good. So dynamic, multiple body parts. It means we don't have to be here long. Dinner's almost ready. Breakfast is almost ready. Wherever you are in the world, here we go. Let's go for five, ha, four, beautiful, shh, three, yes, two, and one. Awesome job. We're gonna switch legs, okay, so right away chair, stool, or bar. Dig that right heel, right underneath here. So you're squeezing the booty, opening up the chest. Arms are optional. Here's eight, dig that heel, wiggle your toes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, amazing. So, I don't have walls in my kitchen, so I'm gonna pretend like this is my wall. If you have a wall, I mean, this could be your wall for pretends too, but if you have a wall or you can use your refrigerator, which I can't because I have handles on there, but we're gonna pretend like this is my wall. One of the most challenging things that we do sometimes is doing nothing, it's just finding your stillness. And there's something so challenging about being in a chair. So if you're a yogi and that's your practice, then you know how hard this is to hold, right? What's even harder 
is to get really low, like you're sitting in your chair. Pull your abs in, pretend like you're leaning up against a wall if you're using the counter. Here's our move, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. I won't cheat you, I'm watching a timer right here. Hands are optional, get out of your head space, okay? We do a lot of mantras in class, so I'm gonna tell you what the mantras sound like, and it's just an opportunity to retrain your brain and change your inner dialogue, here they are. I am strong, I am worthy, I am capable, I am beautiful, if you struggle with that one, say it anyway. And I accept this challenge. All kinds of things, like I show up, I make commitments to myself, I keep my personal promises. I accept the challenge, let the thighs burn, get a little bit lower, everyone. So, we've way past the 20 seconds, but you see what happens when we start talking? I am strong, I am worthy, I am capable, I am beautiful, and I accept this challenge. Close your ribs, abs come in, thighs on fire, let it happen. Take a huge breath in, slowly come out of it. Coming out of it is gonna be equally as hard. Okay, so let's stretch again. Go back to your dog, drop your heels. Beautiful work. We're gonna do one more walking, crawling move. Another one of my favorites. It's so good for the thighs. We are gonna change the shape of our thighs. We are not waiting until the new year, okay? We are getting our holiday body right now, right here at home in the kitchen. And yes, we can. So don't wait for a New Year's resolution. I want you to show up with me every single Thursday. Find me on the app. On the app. Find me live on the gram. Pick a burn. Get some family fitness, couples yoga. There's all kinds of options for you. And if you're not a subscriber, because this is our gift, we're giving this for free, get the app. It's literally free for the first week, okay? We're talking about a quarter. I think we're all worth it. I'm gonna give you a little tough love. So get into your sumo squat. All we're gonna do is crawl. And yes, touch the ground. We're just doing four crawls, or whatever your space allows, okay? Turn it around, other side. Get really low, get really wide. Really low, really wide. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn it around, we're gonna do a couple more sets. You're just crawling, or you can be here. Look, if you can't get down to the ground today, who cares? You're in the privacy of your own home. That's what's awesome about digital fitness, is nobody can see you. I wish I could say the same thing, but not true. Here we go, keep going. Let the thighs burn. Let the legs take new shape. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, beautiful work, we're gonna stretch one more time. Shake it out, shake it out. Drop your chest down. Push down on the countertop. We're gonna do one version of an up dog on the countertop, so shoulders come back. Drop your heels. Come into downward dog. Drop your chest, up dog. Open up your chest. Downward dog, let's do 10 of these. Here's 10, breathing. Nine, stretching. Eight, use your abs. Everything comes from the core. Seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Forward fold, everybody, just a little rag doll. Drop it low, opposite hand, opposite elbow. Shake out your neck, open up your shoulders. Bend your knees if you're not feeling flexible. Here's another option, left hand on the ground, right hand to the sky. Circle your wrist, both directions. Other side, other side. Roll it up. We just did a total body sculpt. Okay, we carved out the body. While your meal is in the kitchen, whatever's going on, don't worry about weather, don't worry about time. We have to remove time from our list of excuses. There is always gonna be a reason not to work out. What we did was we utilized the bar to find our balance. Maybe you're not strong enough to do this. So you support your own body. You give yourself a little bit of love. We changed our inner dialogue with mantras and movement. I love these kind of connections. It's messy, it's loosey-goosey, we're at home. There's so much freedom. If you're not a subscriber, find me on the app. There are so many things we can do together. But right now I want to show you my post-workout shake. I always intermittent fast. It gives me a little bit more freedom. It allows me to eat, eat a little more freely during my, my, my window of time. So longevity is a superfood blend. It's not a protein powder. It's got everything I need for recovery, endurance, 
energy. And I'm going to show you, we just introduced a new flavor, it's chocolate mint. So I'm going to show you this really yummy chocolate mint smoothie. Super easy to make, takes you less than five minutes. So stick around, uh, maybe screenshot the ingredients. Find me, I want to connect with you. And then after that, we're going to meet right back here. I'm going to grab some water, I'm going to go to the restroom, and we're going to do a Q&A. Great job, everybody. I'm sweating. I'm sweating and my heart rate is up. This is amazing. We didn't even leave our house. Well done, everybody. Well done. All right, post-workout shake. That's when I break my fast. You guys know by now that I intermittent fast. So the first meal of the day after my workout is a shake. I've been obsessed with the cacao longevity superfood blend, but we're introducing a new flavor, which is chocolate mint, and this is actually the favorite of many of the people that work at the company. So that says a lot. Super simple, we've got about a handful of ingredients. So the first thing is gonna be your nut milk of choice. I like to use organic, unsweetened almond milk. Then you're gonna do two scoops of the chocolate mint longevity. So check this out, bag might say one, I put two scoops because I want a little extra of everything. So that's that. Frozen fruit, everyone. I chop up my bananas, I keep them in the freezer. It gives it way better texture, so frozen bananas. Don't forget about the ice. If you like your shake thick, add more ice, and if your blender gets stuck, add more liquid. And to be honest, it's so yummy that sometimes I even put water in there. You don't necessarily have to load up on the calories of nut milk. So now what we're gonna do is sneak in some veggies. So even my son, I can sneak in a little bit of spinach. No big deal, he doesn't even know, especially when it's blended and it's chocolate mint, so you want it to be green anyway. So as much spinach as you can sneak in there, the better. And now if you really love the flavor of mint, which I do, throw in some fresh mint leaves. I wanna show you guys something really quick. Check this out. One little tip in the kitchen. Everybody wants to know what's in the fridge. Is I love to put my herbs in little glasses in the kitchen and keep them in water, then they stay really fresh. You don't necessarily have to baggie them. And if your fruit's going bad, don't throw it out. Freeze your fruit. I use this all the time. I've got strawberries in here, I've got blueberries in here. All my, my bananas are chopped up and frozen. Gives it amazing texture. So that's that. Okay, back to the smoothie. Nut milk, frozen bananas, ice, two scoops of chocolate mint, okay? And that's it, we're gonna blend it up. And then I'm gonna top it off with some cacao nibs, which is gonna be so pretty, and some fresh mint. All right, here we go. for the holidays. Okay, watch this. Yum. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna garnish it with some fresh mint, just like that, because we want it to be pretty. And a little bit of cacao nibs, you see these? Just sprinkle those on top. See if you can find some pretty chunks. Yes, and that's it. Look at that. Holly. Oh wait, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea, hang on. I actually was prepared to do this and I forgot. You know I like to make everything pretty. So if you wanna get into the spirit of the holidays, I found these really cute candy cane looking straws. I couldn't find them, but a little red and white striped straw and just garnish it with some cacao, with some pomegranate seeds, right? Make it pretty, antioxidants. Seven natural ingredients, energy, focus, endurance. Oh my God, that is so good. I love the pop of mint. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers, everyone.
<laughs> hey everybody, oh my goodness, that was so much fun. How much can we cram into one kitchen in the morning? Um, that was really fun. I hope you guys had an awesome workout. So we've got some questions that were coming in. We're gonna to try to keep this tight for sake of time. I'm so happy that everyone was joining us. Just a couple of things. We're gonna be here every Thursday. Um, we're gonna keep this going for the whole month of December. It's our gift to you. We wanna simplify wellness. We're giving you the gift of health and wellness. Sharing recipes, we're gonna break a sweat. I've got friends coming over next Thursday. Same time, same place, 9 a.m. Um, Scott's joining us. So that's going to be really fun. We're doing a fiance flow yoga. Then I've got chefs coming over, girlfriends. Um, we're going to get down in the kitchen. We're going to share so many fun recipes and we're going to do it together because so many of us are home for the holidays and this is all good stuff, everybody. So, okay, here's a couple questions that came in and I'm going to enjoy this chocolate mint smoothie too. Mm -mm. Oh my God, it's so good. This is going to be my new, my new favorite recipe. I love that mint. Okay, first question. How many times a week do you think we should work out? Um, God, that's so subjective and so personal. I work out probably five or six times a week, mostly because I'm creating content and choreographing programs for you. I'm also teaching my classes, but even on days when I don't have my classes, I get into my gym, I get into an infrared sauna, I try to stretch and recover, I do yoga, um, I'll meet my girlfriend. So for me, I make it fun and we all hold each other accountable. But I would say five days a week. And that's a really great lead into another question that came in. Um, what are our secrets? What are my secrets for carving out abs? So one of the things that I love to stay motivated and that's really effective is we have an ab attack program. It's four weeks, it's 20 workouts. Honest to God, like five minutes a day. So I used to think that was kind of lame to these five minute workouts, but they really do work. So it's my favorite ab moves. It's gonna carve out your core, shrink your waistline. Um, and it's really easy to do. You can stack that onto other workouts. So challenges are great. We also have uh, a booty challenge that's also 20 weeks. We've got, sorry, 20 workouts, it's four weeks. We've got a 2020 program that's 20 moves, 20 minutes a day. And then of course the holiday handful that we're pushing this month. So those are my five moves, my five favorite moves for every body part. So upper body, abs, legs, booty, and also five minutes in the morning. So I'm encouraging everyone to take five minutes for yourself just to set yourself up for the day. And that's really all it takes. So we're making fitness fun. Um, we've got challenges to encourage you and inspire you. Check those out. If you're not a subscriber, you guys, we're giving all this away for free. It's so important to do that because we want everybody to have a happy, healthy holiday season. But if you're not a subscriber, get the app. If you're ordering Longevity, Longevity, you get a free month. So we have all kinds of specials and just stay connected with us. I'm in the community all the time and we've got 24 seven support right there. And yes, I need glasses, so <laughs> here we go. Um, what are some tips for staying in shape over the holidays? That comes from Debbie from Toronto. We just talked about that. Find a buddy, light it up on your smart TV, try a challenge, um, do the thanks and planks also. That's really fun. Thanks and planks help you step into gratitude. We're using all 10 fingers to remind us of what we're grateful for, especially during the holiday season. It's a really important time to do that. Uh, and you can reach out to me too. Find me on the gram, find me in the community, ask questions. I love to connect like this. Okay, here's another question that comes from Faye in Culver City. When creating your workout schedule, what routines, um, what motivates the workouts that I choose? So really good question. I like to get head to toe, top to bottom. So for me, I wanna break a sweat, I wanna improve energy, I wanna kick up my metabolism, I want to give myself a really good reset. So I love cardio, and you don't have to do a lot of it, and sometimes cardio are our planks and our compound moves that we use that really challenge, um, challenge the total body. I also focus on the abs, the booty, the arms, and the legs. So when I put together my weekly schedule, I like to give you workouts, which are all suggested, by the way, when you get that weekly email. I like to get put together workouts that hit everything and then give your body also a moment to rest. So for example, if we're doing abs and booty Monday, Tuesday, maybe we'll do a hip workout on Wednesday and give our body a break and then come back to it. <clears throat> but most of our programs are designed to hit everything. Um, and to keep it fun and to keep challenging you so that fitness never gets boring. 
So that's super important too. Okay, here's another one. Why is a shake my first meal? That's from Maddie in San Diego. So I intermittent fast. I've been doing that for years. It's the easiest thing I've ever done. It gives my gut a moment to rest, um, gives my body time to repair. And then I break my fast with my smoothie. So I had an early dinner last night. This is the first thing that I'm eating today with the exception of my coffee. I also put together a whole video of what I eat in a day, so you can check that out on TikTok and also on the gram. But my shake gives me everything I need. So it gives me energy, it gives me endurance, gives me recovery properties. It's got all kinds of natural ingredients like matcha and maca, superfoods, um, goji berry, cacao, like all kinds of things are in one blend, which is why I love this superfood powder so much. Then I feel energized and I actually feel satisfied too because this is like a milkshake. So we're sharing some recipes this holiday season like um, an alternative for a Reese's peanut butter cup that really tastes like a chocolate milkshake. It's so yummy. Recipes that are good protein power pick-me-ups. I'm gonna take you um, into the fridge in the next few weeks also and show you some of my favorite recipes. We're baking it with it. We're cooking with the powder. We're creating all kinds of recipes to keep everybody engaged and to make nutrition a little bit more delicious and more mindful and more fun. So it used to be that BB Body was like mind, body, spirit. It still is mind, body, soul, but now it's, now it's mind, body, and nutrition. So we're trying to give you all kinds of things to make this big picture of wellness um, really fun and doable over the holiday season. So let's see, we've got uh, one more. Let's see, uh, do you incorporate ballroom actions? Oh, this is a good one. Do I incorporate ballroom actions into my workouts? Um, it's hard not to incorporate a little bit of dance, just having spent so much time in the ballroom. I also recognize that when I was training for Dancing with the Stars and when I was in the ballroom, I was in really, really great shape. And I think that's from connecting to the power right here and training like a dancer where all the moves are really long, all the lines are really long, all the power and the balance comes from the core. So that's why I'm really specific in a lot of our compound moves and engaging all of this and cinching your waistline. And I'll show you too, like when we use the counter, we're using it for balance, but if you light up your core and you tap into this area, you're able to get an ab workout when we're doing all kinds of things. And all of these lines and things that we do totally come from dance background. Um, I actually would like to do more dance workouts, but I know it's intimidating for a lot of people. One thing that you guys can do also, I'm gonna find a couple more questions and then we'll get to our day. But one thing that you can do is join me on Fridays. So I do a Zoom class. You can find the link on the live events on brookbrook.com, but it all happens right outside here at my house and some of my girlfriends come over. We've got people from Italy, people from all over the world joining us. It's a great opportunity to do a semi-private. And if you've turned your camera on, then I can see you. Obviously you see me, but I can make body corrections and that's been really fun. And you can also connect with the community that I have here in Malibu. So it's a really intimate group. And then we also, we also stick around afterwards and do a Q and A. So that's every Friday, um, not to confuse you home for the holidays right here in the kitchen is going to be Thursdays at 9 a.m. right here in my kitchen. But Fridays are a Zoom class and we are loving that. I'm trying to give everybody lots of opportunities to connect. Um, what do I do when I have no energy to work out? So to be really honest, many days I don't have energy to work out because I teach and because I'm committed to things like this, it keeps me honest. So I just, I push through it and I really, really recognize that the other side of working out makes me feel so much better than when I started. So if you can change your point of view a little bit and know that we're creating energy, Working out gives you energy. It gives you a sense of accomplishment. It makes you feel really good. It shifts your mood. And the better you feel, the more you're gonna wanna work out. So I just do it. I make a commitment, even on days when I'm dragging. And I try to lead by, by example. I try to teach that to my kids. I don't flake out on myself. I don't flake out on my girlfriends. I keep my personal promises. And so many of the programs that we have choreographed and that are already live for you on the app, I think we'll keep you engaged and I think we'll make it um, doable because we've got short workouts, long workouts, like you decide how much time you have. And moments like this when we get to get together and do something different, keep fitness fun. Um, okay, what do I eat in a typical day? Um, every day is different. I break my fast with the smoothie. 
I'm totally a creature of habit. So usually my smoothie is the almond butter banana one, which is also on the app. It's with cacao. That's my favorite flavor, although I'm loving mint right now. Um, that satisfies me for at least three or four hours, depending on the kid's schedule and life and work. Sometimes I'll have a um, protein salad, like a crunchy salad, lots of veggies, maybe salmon, maybe chicken. I make homemade dressing. So many of these recipes are on brookbrook.com, so check that out. I'd love to know what you think. And then I have dinner, you know, usually a family dinner that will be meat or fish. I make tons of soups. I prep on Sundays veggies. Um, I don't skimp out on flavor. I think I eat well. Um, delicious meals, decadent recipes, easy to follow recipes. I love that time spent right here with the family in the kitchen. Um, I'm never hungry, to be honest. I don't let myself go hungry and get hangry, cranky and hungry. That's that little combo. I try not to let my kids live in that space either. And it's really about fueling your body. Um, and getting set up for success and doing a prep day. And we have so many of those opportunities on the site that you can um, use to just get, get organized in the kitchen. So anyway, um, so many questions. First of all, I wanna say thank you. This was um, our maiden voyage. This is the first time that we did this. It was super fun. You probably noticed that we pre-taped the recipe stuff. It's all good. There's so many different things going on here, so many different cameras, and a lot of things can go wrong with lives. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, Roku, Samsung. We're, we're streaming everywhere, and we did this as our gift to all of you for the holiday season because we care, because we think you're super, um, and we have a lot of goodness to share with you. So come back every Thursday. Tell your friends. Bring your friends. Remember, it's free. Like, no gimmicks. Sign up. Spread the word. Um, it's a great way of connecting with everyone. Meet me Fridays for Zooms. That you have to sign up for on the site. And if you're not a subscriber, get the app. We have lots of deals going right now. This app is for all of us. You can create a digital gym right here in your living room. You don't need a lot. Light hand weights, a mat, water bottles if you don't have hand weights. Basically show up for yourself because we all need it this holiday season. Um, so much fun, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Find me. I want feedback. I want to know how it was. I want to know what you think about using a counter and getting it down in the kitchen. Shakes and sweats and recipes. So much fun. Um, I loved it. Thank you. Find me. I want to hear from you. Happy holidays, everyone. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for Zoom. If not, right here next Thursday. Actually, we're going to take you outside because Scott's going to be with us on Thursday. So don't miss it. Bye, everybody.